Hello mates, my name is Risk and welcome to FUM. Flashing lights warning. That's all you're gonna get. Now this game is about radio. Now I'm not sure why a game with a name such as FUM would be about a radio. Did I mention flashing lights warning? I'm pretty sure I did. Damn. So, because of jokes like the thumb, I think that's why I get a lot of comments saying I'm an underrated YouTuber. Just saying. God damn it, look at this. Look at that joke. Underrated YouTuber. Underrated, underrated audience. How about that? Oh. Oh. Alrighty then. I think we're ready to go. Uh, so yeah, I've tried recording six videos in a single day. <laughs> surprise, 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 it didn't, it didn't work out. Because um, I played a furry game for way too long. Three, four hours, I think. It's fine, though. It's fine. I, I, uh, I like playing that long. Look at those sheep. <laughs> I feel like I'm looking at the mirror. Alright, where's the, where's the radio? Where's the... This game was, uh... Had somewhat positive reviews. You know, when I saw it, I was like, Damn, this looks generic. This looks... You know, all like these horror... You know, I'm, I, I have high standards now. I'm no longer a baby. Uh-oh. Still not sure why this game's name is from... By the way, this game was made by Jordan Carter. Left click to interact with certain objects. Flip. So yeah, I'm... You know, I'm not a house expert. My dad built a house once. In fact, he built two. Something tells me even if I would to be build a house, it wouldn't be like this unoptimized. Like, look at all this dead space in between, right? And look at this long corridor. Like, this is like a... Even in the, as a Counter-Strike map, this would be bad. Like, you just hold this with, like, a, a sniper. No one can... Get, like, screw this. Well, well, well. A puzzle? Do you mind? I'm trying to do a puzzle here, thank you. Oh. Well, then, I think we have a, a little problem here. Huh. Okay. So I can only interact with the right light switch. Okay, so. We are very disturbed this evening to report the apparent murder suicide of a wife and her two children, supposedly by their husband and father. The 42 year old man seemingly shot his pregnant spouse once in the stomach before taking his own life. Neither of the children suffered from gunshot wounds, but were severely beaten, both found with fractured skulls and several broken bones. Stay tuned for further details. I'm really interested, as you can tell. There we go. Am I supposed to actually do whatever I just did, like I turned off the lights and now I'm walking in the dark? Okay, I can't see shit. I'm, I'm not joking. Uh... I regret doing that. I regret doing that so much. Uh, like, all the lights are turned off. Alright. Uh, there is no option to change the gamma. Well then. Guess I'm gonna have to use a superior intelligence. Superior intelligence, engage. Oh, come on! Oh, there we go. I got it. Don't worry about it. So was there like a puzzle for me to do just now? Did I just screw it up somehow? I don't know. You know what, maybe I even got penalized for not caring for that story, but hey, what? I'm here to play a game, not to hear a story time. Come on, open this door. Hold on a moment. 
Am I supposed to find a way to flip up all these three switches? Hmm. Seems to me like it is. I'm gonna go there and flip the switch. Wait, there is two switches here. So which one would be would be counted as the middle one? Would it be that one? Hold on. Hold on a moment. Nope. That is wrong. I'm trying to flip all three switches. So I'll try and flip the other one. There is uh, the one here in the main hall. And then by the main hall there is another one right here. So I think that should be enough, right? Right? Well then, I don't know. Alright, I guess I'll just uh, flip this. And hug the wall. We apologize for the abrupt interruption and currently have a caller waiting that wishes to speak on this gruesome incident. Um. Hello? Hold on a moment. Hello? Oh, the lights is back on. Oh, there we go. I think. Yeah, I did it. I don't even know what I did. Hold the right click to zoom on certain objects. Whoa. The crime was first reported by a neighbor who said she was walking her dog when she heard two gunshots from the interior of the home. Listen closely to the radio. At certain points in time, you must examine objects in your surrounding that correlate to the story being told in the order. Oh! Once you have regained control after interacting with said object, a sound cue will play that also plays to the story. Relate. Has no correlation to the next solution. Alright. Well, you just said that you heard two gunshots. How is, does that not have any correlation? The crime was first reported by a neighbor who said she was walking her dog when she heard two gunshots from the interior of the home. Well, it's obviously the brain because she used it, right? No? Surprise. Maybe the weight of her guilt that she didn't call the police in time? No? <laughs> the light switches were bad. Oh, okay. He's gonna repeat the story until I figure it out, right? I mean, just you wait. I, I haven't examined the room yet. Is that a magazine? It isn't. There is blood here. The crime was first reported by a neighbor who said she was walking her dog when she Well, I can't see anything, bro. Can you shut up? I'm trying to zoom in on objects with my eyes. Wait, can I open this? What? Oh, that's a picture of a dog. What is it doing all the way up there? <laughs> well, okay. Who is it? Can't you see I'm playing a horror after game? After calling the police, she then went to investigate the commotion and discovered the bodies after receiving no answer at the door. I simply cannot imagine the weight she must feel after discovering such a horrific event so close to her home. The moment he said the weight, I'm like... Zzz. One brain? How much does this... this uh, w Does this brain weigh anything? Damn, no she wonder you're dumb. The scene in gross detail, stating that the family bathroom had so much blood on its walls and floor that the drain had been clogged. Drain, you say? Haha, <laughs> funny. Bzzz. Okay. Did I unclog it? 
the, the, is the human tissue now out of the way? One of the bodies present in the bathroom was the family's 11-year-old daughter, who was the third and final victim to be identified as dead at the scene. Third and final, you say? Bzzz. I feel like I'm playing Dora, but for adults. Where's the dead body? Can you see the dead body? <laughs> That's not a real uh, incinerator for... Was there somebody there? Underrated horror. Underrated monster. It's just like it. It's like whenever you play a horror game and you can zoom in with your eyes with like no tools, it's like like you're squinting. It's like, come on, dude. Alright, close it, send it, take it, pack it. I'm glad that I'm playing this. Let's just say that. Oh, I'm uh, I'm <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad I'm playing. Proceeds to not play. <laughs> All right, sorry for stepping in blood, or maybe I'm the one bleeding. Regardless, though, where's the radio? Come on, give it to me. Let me just uh, take in. Don't touch that dial now. We've got more colors and details yet to come to tell him the story. Bzzzt. He said dial. <laughs> Alright. I gotta... Excuse me. I know I can probably edit it out, but... Is there somebody behind it? No. But you know, I'm a real YouTuber. I don't edit shit out. If I... Feel uncomfortable with it. Bzzzt. I'm coming. It's just that this awful design of a home, it, it takes a little while to find a room that requires this phone. Why do I even have a phone all the way out here? Damn, these rooms look kind of similar. Are your children having a problem doing homework? Just... I don't know. <laughs> the first thing that popped to my mind is like a commercial. <laughs> your children calling in the middle of the night asking for help? Simple, just don't answer. The father was said to be a heavy drinker by friends and family, and would often cause commotion late at night once returning home. He worked as a construction foreman, and would frequently visit the local bar with co-workers once their shifts were over. <laughs> My eyes hurt from being opened, come on. Am I supposed to crouch and uh, zoom in? And no? Okay. I'm, uh... I'm out of here, buddy. Oh. Bzz. Oh, come on. Really? You're gonna break a glass behind my back? There is so much wine here. You'd think if it was a bar, they'd drink like, I don't know, alcohol? Not just some wine? He kept his signature hunting rifle in a locked cabinet at the end of the hallway, the same place that he stored his alcohol. No one was allowed near the cabinet and would be severely punished if found tampering with it. I guess the story is that someone tampered with it and he was like, damn. I don't know who it is, so I'm just gonna be equal about it and kill all of y'all. Then again, who was his real family, huh? Was it the alcohol and gun? 
I think it was. Look at that. They're just sitting in the chair and having fun. All right. I, uh... Symbolism. The cabinet is now locked. Well, that's because the gun is already... The only safe place to be once the father started drinking was anywhere hidden in the dark. The children told stories to their grandparents about entire nights spent in the closet or under their beds attempting to avoid any harm. Should I go, like, and hide or something? Or should I, uh... Figures. Oh boy, I better hide behind the couch now. Never mind. I'll go. Frankly, if I walk far away, he, he, it would take a while for him to catch up to me, right? I think so. Now it's not so dark, you know? Now I can actually see a little bit in the dark. Beforehand, when I... Grandparents said they were fearful of the wife and children's futures after so many episodes of domestic abuse. They described one incident in particular in which the mother suffered from a traumatic head injury that sent her to the hospital. Bzz, zooms in on, uh, on her head injury. Kinda fancy, don't you think? Framing literal TVs? I think so, I think it's too fancy. Alright. Let's see if there is anybody hiding. Never to drink again after the mother's hospitalization, but was reportedly seen at his regular bar only days later. Okay, it's time for me to answer the phone. Thanks for calling. We appreciate your feedback. Oh, hey, that's kind of cool. That's like the same hall that I've been in. So if if this door open, you think I'm gonna see the cameraman like holding like this, and he's like, <laughs> "Come on, it's open! Open it up! Kick it down!" That door won't hold for long. Okay, maybe I should zoom in on it. Bzz. Bye. I guess we're playing catch. School. <sighs> on the day of the crime, the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. Those in the main office at the time described him as eerily anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building. That's a big board. Why is the school trashed, by the way? Uh, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm supposed to zoom in per se On the day of the crime the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon Those All right. in the main office at the time described him as eerily anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building One of these uh, tables is not like the other I think No Would they be in the same class? Lunch. Should I focus on like the chair? No. Hold on. I need to figure out where they've been staying. Maybe it's this class with the radio? Perhaps. On the day of the crime, the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. Those in the main office at the time described him as eerily anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building. Quickly rushed out of the building. Hmm. Time! No.
Oh, I was correct, actually. Because they came early. Should I play with, like, the dial? What, what do you want? On the day of the crime, the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. Those in the noon. main office at the time described him as eerily anxious as the Here three quickly rushed out of the building. Alright, go on to the next section, narrator. I got this. Come on. Come on! I'm just gonna wait here. Come on, you stupid radio. Do you want me... Oh, I think I need to change the other clocks to noon, perhaps. Yeah. All the clocks gotta strike noon. Day of the crime, the father checked out both of his children Boop. early from school around Whoosh. noon. So That's how clocks work. At the time, Whoosh. him as eerily anxious as All right. The three quickly rushed out of the there is a third clock in the this uh, classroom. And after that, I think we're done. Should be above the... No? Oh, there it is. Whoosh. Yep, that's how the clock work. Any other clocks? When called to the front office, both of the children's moods quickly shifted to that of pure dread. The teachers asked them to gather their books, among other belongings, which they did at the slowest fucking pace possible. Interrupting the small school of typically only nine students per classroom. Hmm. Oh, I collected a book. So I'm gonna collect stuff very slowly, I guess. Who knows? Also, nine students per class, that's very small. Very, very small. Alright, uh, I'd assume there is, uh, more books around here. I just gotta figure out where they've been staying. To the front office, both of the children's moods uh, there is another book over there. Oh, hello there. Yoink. Any other book? Oh, I see you. I'm not sure if there is any other books, though. Oh, there was. What's that? Uh, it's still on about the books. Is there still another book somewhere? Oh my god, there is. Where would they hide more books, though? This classroom is clean. Definitely clean. Hold on, maybe I missed a book uh, in this class. The board seems fine. Yeah, everything seems fine. I tried picking up. Oh, I see a book over there. Yeah. Is this the last book? It is. I heard a door open. Assigned to opposite rooms from one another, the children also differed greatly in personality. The daughter strived for greatness, her favorite subject being geography, and has always been at the top of her class. The son, on the other hand, was deservedly punished for his actions, often getting sent to time out for acting up. Geography! Come on! <laughs> Trying to spin the globe. Come on! Zooms in and it doesn't do shit. Right, if I was a timeout, I would be in the hall, right? No? I've never been sent to a timeout. Is it like an old thing or is it like a, a thing only for American schools? A timeout? Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Geography and then... Uh, and something. Oh! Wh what's so special about this globe? Well, probably this is her actual class. There is blood. Alright, that's daughter. No matter how far away you get, they will always be with you. Yeah. That's mentality right there. 
uh, timeout by the teacher's desk. I don't know. Bzz, zoom in. Timeout button? Yeah, this is the timeout button. You like, do you want the boy to be timed out for like 30 minutes, 10 minutes? And then you put them in. <laughs> Actually, no. I'm not gonna say a damn thing. Assigned to opposite rooms from one another. The children also differed greatly in person. Oh, oh, because this is the boy, this is where he times out. Oh my god. Okay, so since that was the girl's ba uh, classroom, then this was the boy's class, which is where he would be timed out. Kind of feel bad for them. Most days, it seemed like the only safe space for the young man was inside his own locker. If he wasn't getting beaten at home by his father, the children at school would do it instead. No matter how hard you try, you'll always end up just like your father. Well, where's his locker? If I had to guess, I'd say over there, because uh, that's where he got the book originally, you know? Which means this is, this would be their locker. No, it was just a random book. Or maybe it's the girl's uh, locker. So the boy's locker would probably be one of these. One of these open ones. Let me add him. Come on, open it up. The only reason she's allowed to walk is because this locker is locking me in. I swear, if there wasn't a locker door between us, she would have been dead. Come on! Come on! I'm gonna be frank with you, it's really hot, but I think I got used to the room being extra hot. And I'm also going to be frank with you because you guys actually watch a lot of my videos. I can now afford to buy an AC. That's crazy. I told you the only reason she's alive is because we have a locker between us. So yeah, that's kind of cool. You know? Because beforehand, um, I wasn't making uh, a whole lot, but uh, I don't know, recently you guys have just been killing it with uh, the amount of time you spend watching my videos. And also, some of you watch my video, and then you proceed and watch another video I made from the recommended section, which uh, uh, boosts uh, the amount of times YouTube recommend your video to other people. So. You guys just been killing it. So yeah. I'm gonna get an AC and not go bankrupt. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm sweating over here. This is so hot. Oh, uh, <laughs> a plane. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> so yeah, I, I mean, I have an AC of my own. Right there. Uh, I, I've already told this story a few times, but um, it's too big. It's making too much sound and it's damaging my ear and it's also broken. So I'm going to fix it and then when I fix it, it's going to destroy my ears pretty much. So that's why I want to get a new one. A way smaller one doesn't make much sound that just cools the room. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, when I told that uh, to my uh, brother and father, they'd say uh, that all I have to do is just put it in the lowest setting. And my reply would be, that was the lowest setting. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And also this, uh, another way to figure out that this uh, is too big for my room is the fact that it's always on the lowest setting, yet it doesn't take very long to cool the entire room. It takes like two minutes and then it stops working. And usually that's a bad sign for an AC because you'd want an AC to work uh, longer time. Because if it keeps on stop working, then it's not actually doing its job. It's just like, boop, 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 boop. And it's playing around with the AC, and it's not healthy for the AC. Okay, I'm glad to see that someone actually came to my TED talk about the ACs. She loved her children more than anything in the world. Emotions that were quickly changed after the little incident. Once returning from the hospital, she couldn't bear to look upon their faces. All she could see was her husband in their eyes. Oh, that's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate to hear. 
once you associate something bad with something, it's so hard to get rid of it. Like, it's so, so hard. So now that she associates her husband within the kids, that just fucking kills it for me. Well, the room is upside down. I guess that's like, uh, reminiscent or like, uh, symbolism. The same emotions would linger once the new member of the family arrived. Something had to change. So yeah, just like uh, her perspective on the children, it just changed upside down. That's the symbolism, I'm pretty sure. Something had to change, what's she gonna do? Gonna jump scare me? Baby! Okay, I'm just following radios that look that sound like baby monitors. Come on, it's this one, I know. Huh? Oh, it, it is this one. I'm so confused. Is this one? He's still going. Look at all these. Stop. Quiet. It's this one for sure, come on. Or is it one of these on the floor? It's this one, come on. Oh, it was that one. Is it the obvious one or is it something else? Well, I think we're done with the baby puzzle. Get it out of here. Oh, God damn it. All of the voices bottled inside of her were finally unleashed. No more abuse. No more suffering. No more family. These children, including the one inside of her, would become just like her, and she feared for her life. They deserve a better existence. They deserve a fresh start. None of this was there for. A little loud, don't you think? Alright, let's just uh, get to the other side. Hopefully we're done with the baby monitors. She finally made up her mind. Her plan for freedom. This seems very comfy. You can stop tapping, please. Please. Okay, I'm coming out of there and I'm punching something. Okay? I'm coming out. Okay, wise guy. Wanna show your face? Oh, whoa. I mean, frankly, if that wise guy pushed me in and then hid in one of these coffins, I wouldn't actually have it, you know, the you nerves. Know the funniest part of it all is, it didn't work. <laughs> Shit. Well, I guess this uh, cocky bastard is a bit uh, of a show off. He just opened it all for me because I, I didn't have the nerve to actually go ahead and open all of them. Anyway, 
I guess they check this one. Where'd you go? Such a happy family. It's quite strange how almost everyone looks normal from an outside perspective until you pull back the curtain and find a story such as this. It breaks my heart to report these things to the public day in and day out, but it's the reality of our current culture. People eat it up. They love wallowing in the misfortune of others. The mother in tonight's headlining tragedy is another victim for these leeches to feed on, further fueling the growing decay of society. I often struggle with myself, finding that I am a large portion of the problem at hand. Just like her, I am a goddamn parasite that has infected your mind. No matter where you go or what you do, you can never get rid of us. Was he just talking about emotional porn? That's the term, uh... It's quite ironic when you think about it all, really. The very place that festered her emotions is what currently shackles you now. Who the heck is this narrator? That's what I'm concerned about. Her mind had been warped, damaged by those she loved most. Once she had time alone to think and heal, the absolute darkness inside of her grew exponentially. Well, that's sad. Where the hell? Where the heck am I? The darkness inside of her grew exponentially. Let's look for a very dark room. Like this one. Right? Yeah, what happened? Let me in. Let me in! Oh. She was found dead in the hallway, floating in a pool of blood once the paramedics arrived. The unborn child, still within her, was instantly killed when the bullet entered her stomach. Strangely enough, she was found with scratch marks on both of her arms as well as severe cuts on her right hand. The father dropped his children off at home before packing his bags for another impromptu hunting trip, abandoning the family for yet another weekend. I know there is a, a rifle in the cabinet, but I'm, I doubt that that's what they want me to, to look at. There is the hunting rifle. <laughs> now that's what I call bedtime. I wish I would could go to bed like that. He was found lying in the living room, dead with his head split open from the bottom, rifle still in hand. Pieces of a shattered vase were scattered around him with his left cheek adorned with a massive wound. The two children laid in their beds, unsure of what to do, as the mother beckoned for the daughter's help with something in the living room. Where the living room at? This area is locked. Oh wait, this is a... Uh... Can I just zoom in on this? No? The two children laid in their beds, unsure of what to do, as the mother beckoned for the daughter's help with something in the living room. They laid in their beds. Hold on. Oh, there is one bed. Oh, there is a bed. Okay. The daughter was found dead in the bathroom, head smashed against the tub. The son, on the other hand, would fall victim to a fate much worse than death.
So wait, the dad didn't kill him? Alright. Back to the familiar hall we go. I don't think this should again. I think it's about time to change the channel. Well, that's quite a change. Ah, this is not my favorite channel. You know. I guess I'll just, uh, go, get out of here. I think you know what needs to be done. Let go. Does this jump in? I do. Uh, God damn it! <laughs> I'm still back to this damn hall. Did anybody say we gotta change channel? The son went to investigate the commotion in the living room. And what happened? But he couldn't get there in time. Watch out behind you. I guess I'll just lay here in the floor. If you need me, I'll... I'll wake up in like five minutes. So the woman, I don't see her pregnant. Oh. Very ominous. Jordan Cutler. Uh, good job. The atmosphere of the game was pretty good. Really, really good. And Seth, good job at the voice in the radio. Well then, that was FM. Hope you mates enjoyed this one. Rather uh, creepy, really. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.